If you had just one chance to take a look through the looking glass, to see the truth for one brief instant, would you take it? Or do you use it to look at the past or look at the future? Would you look at yourself? Or look at the ones you love. Would you share it with another? Or would you keep it a secret? Listening for a moment on the patriarchal traditions of Genesis, God is six times called El Shaddai. Other names are El Elyon, El Olam, El Roi, El Bethel. You can see the translations of these. The everlasting God, God most high, a God of seeing, a God of the house of God, and so on. So on. El is the name of the chief God in the Canaanite pantheon. It's clear that Hebrew is simply a Canaanite dialect. In fact, I remember reading one scholar said, if you go back far enough, um, you're really hard pressed to tell the difference between Canaanite and uh, Hebrew. Many biblical passages depict God exactly this way, as the head of a council of divine beings. He is occasionally described with some of the epithets that are associated with El. He's referred to as the father of all creatures. There are poetic passages in which he is referred to as bull, also certainly as king. And in the patriarchal narratives, God refers to himself as the God of the Father. I am the God of the Father, the same way El is referred to. He guides and protects the patriarchs. He makes promises of progeny to Abraham and his heirs. Um, he also is associated with a mountaintop, Sinai, and gives instructions for the building of a tabernacle, a tent-like structure in which he will dwell. Many personal and place names in the patriarchal narratives are compounds in which one element is El. Yisrael, Yishmael, Faith El, El is the God of the Patriarch. El is Satan. The Phoenicians call Saturn El. Elohim, Bible El, Angel. El is the generic word for God that can be used for any God, including Baal, Malik, or Yahweh. The Jews and the Muslims I like worship a uh, black cube. One is the cube at Kaaba at Mecca. Now the, the god Yahweh is known as the Tetragrammatron, meaning four letter, four sided cube god. I revealed myself it is stated to Abraham and Isaac and Jacob is El Shadi, but was known as the name Yahweh. Yet he revealed himself as El Saturn, Satan. And this is carried on through most religions, the worship of Satan. Now, Saturn is used more as a medium post uh, unit, sure of symbolism with the, the pentagram and the cube and the eye on the south pole. That's important. But Saturn is much about vibrations and vortex. Saturn's vortex has immense power and vibrations. Now, in ancient times, Saturn is known as the god of time and space. And also in the Zoroastrian Persian text, Satan is trapped in time and space. And this wise El, Satan has mastered how to manipulate time and space. Controls cannot be left to blind chance or an unplanned change. The element of direction must be taken. So when we think of Satan being trapped in time, it's a timeline that is subject to man as well and as he was at the beginning he is now and the omnipresence of satan when he views the timeline is through a looking glass but this must this looking glass must be seen as a physical one and this is the use through saturn's eye 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 vortex hexagon on the North Pole, again, is ma manipulation through through a physical one into Earth's plane. So, when 
the OCNI uh, views a timeline, whether it's a, a, a thought being made, an event, Lord Satan assists himself to that timeline to make a direction in, in cha in a, in a change. And when he offered Christ all the kingdoms and the Jews in the world, Satan knew that a certain date was important for when Christ would come and used Saturn as an outpost to reach Earth's plane. So at, at the right time, then certain dates or empires or statesmen, the use of a vortex will be will be will be used to reach a certain timeline. Now masons are constantly referring to the circle and the square, and the square and the circle. The compass makes a circle, and the square draws a square. This is time and space. Long after the Big Bang, matter had reached a good steady speed. So much that our galaxy and Earth was going just about fast in the expansion terms as it was after the Big Bang. A little bit slower, but with the penetration of Earth from water, life, and mankind, the planet mass, Jupiter, and Saturn formed so much that it affected Earth and slowed it down. If you stand next to the Great Pyramid at Giza, one notices that time is slowed down by a fraction, a fraction nonetheless. Zeus and Kronos, Lucifer and Satan, have impacted the Earth's time. This is why in the Bible it says Satan knows his time is short, Saturn knows his time is short, and uses a vortex, an eye, to choose a timeline to appear on Earth Earth's plane to make a direction of change. It seems that some of the Bible is written in high physics. When, it's, when the Bible says the sins of the Father will be passed on, it is meant that DNA has memory, and to which it does. The vortex is about matter and mind manipulation. Through this vortex, if there was ever an experiment carried out, it would show the Saturn's North Pole vortex sends out mass frequencies to Earth, and one's got to ask what kind of effect this is having. Now, the cube is more important than just symbolism. Saturn encases our galaxy in a cube and, ma and encases man in a cube. If you think of Saturn like a coil um, with mass energy and power, then you can truly understand the workings of Saturn like a coil, and one can equate to the grand unified field theory Travel into our universe, vortex fusion energy, levitation gravitons, and this is what the great mystics knew about the workings of Saturn like a coil. For about 30 years, astronomers have been mesmerized by Saturn's gigantic hexagon on the North Pole. Voyager spacecraft that flew over Saturn in 1988, astronomers noticed that the hexagon had diameter of Earth. The hexagon that fits and holds the diameter of Earth. It Nearly to the exact, nearly to the exact size. Now this is interesting. This is a metaphor for the, whole, the veil that Saturn puts over Earth and holds Earth to a, to its dimension. Earth's Antarctic polar vortex, centered over Antarctica, is responsible for trapping air. Now Saturn's vortex is directly linked to Earth's Antarctic polar vortex and uses the moon as a medium for transmission, also as a passing from Saturn's North Pole vortex to Antarctica's vortex, whether this is being used physically or in a dimension or through the ether that is yet to be, to be found out. Now when we think of the Hebrew God as a tetragrammatron, the four-sided cube God, this is synonymous with something I'd like to mention that comes from ancient Hindu as the four yugas, and this is a correspondence with the four powers of Maya. Maya in Sanskrit word meaning the darkness of illusion that hides man from his divine nature. This is the cube that encases man, but this is also a connection with the mirror cube universe that the great father that the Great Father projects from his absolute divineness. Now, the mirror cube universe gives the illusion or the will for to and carry on to infinity, like when you hold a mirror behind you and look a mirror in front of you. Now, the mirror cube universe gives the, the transition, the will to go on to infinity. 
and the female element is a sphere in the middle of the cube universe and the female element is a great balancer now as God holds the universe in a mirror cube Satan holds man in a cube who is the God of this world it does fit the copycat effect of the true creator the four powers of Maya are atomic space time and vibrations now this is sounds a lot like what science says comes from Saturn now when we think of CERN we have to think of CERN as the new Babylon and I'll explain that Babylon was building up into the heavens but the Babylonians knew full well that the stars and the universe were outside earth and they couldn't physically reach heaven by a tall building they knew this Babylon was looking for the God particle in turn CERN is doing the same the metaphor is there CERN is looking for the God particle now Bab the Tower of Babylon was destroyed for looking for the God particle and we can see this is what CERN is doing by looking for the God particle see not even Satan knows the mathematical code to the God particle or the Big Bang see there is a mathematical code to this and by Satan understanding this mathematical code he can greatly increase his time as Lord and not be defeated but still an attempt must be made Saturn's large hydron collider is octagon shaped Saturn's North Pole is hexagon Saturn is understanding the workings of Saturn and its blueprints by mimicking his shape and knowledge of Saturn to use in the, the workings of CERN. All Saturn worship is secretly done because the elite know it rules over time and space, but is restricted, is subject to infinite time. This is infinite time, this symbol. The Father, the Creator, is not subject to infinite time. And you can see how it looks a lot like other Masonic symbols. Zeus and Kronos, Satan and Jupiter, Saturn and Jupiter are affected in many traditions around the world. So when you likely completely submerge a coil in water, certain effects become aluminium is paramagnetic and water is diamagnetic, two opposing energies that feed off each other. This is an Iki and an Il, Kronos and Zeus, Satan and Lucifer or Ariman. If Jupiter and Saturn were free from the bond of the Sun, they could be considered as a star or a Sun. Now let's think about that. If Saturn and Jupiter were free from the bonds of the Sun, they could be a Sun. They could be Christ, but they will never be. For these two forces, Satan and Lucifer, are the balancer between the Christ element. When the Bible says there will be many antichrists, this is just a succession of entropy when one follows the law of entropy, destruction, not to create. The Christ is the great balance between evil. As Christ has infinite compassion for Lucifer, Lucifer cannot bear this compassion Christ has for him. And one must balance the other. Now it's interesting how the vortex of Saturn is red and blue when science titles time and space in text the title is red and blue mix the colors together and you have purple the royal color of the Phoenicians who greatly worshipped El or Saturn uh, it's more than just a coincidence the Saturn worship is bigger than ever and it's time to wake up time to wake up their tongues to deceive. The venom of snakes is under their lips. Their mouths are full of bitterness and curses. And in their paths, nothing but ruin and misery. And the fear of God is not before their eyes. They have taken the hearts and minds of our leaders. They have recruited the rich and the powerful. And they have blinded us to the truth. Our human spirit is corrupted. Why do we worship greed? Because outside the limit of our sight, feeding off us, perched on top of us from birth to death, are our owners. Our owners. They have us. They control us. They are our masters. We 
wake up. They're all about you. All around you. Freemasonry is below Illuminati.